Starting Friday in the Denver area, three women with Suncoast ties will tee it up in one of the biggest events of the year. It's the Solheim Cup, the female version of the Ryder Cup, USA versus Europe, and it's every bit as intense as the men's event. Former Bradenton resident Paula Kramer, who still practices in Lakewood Ranch, made the USA team on points. She's a Solheim Cup veteran. Bradenton native and resident Jessica Corda made the USA team on points her first time playing Solheim Cup. And Sarasota resident and my wife, Jody Ewart Shadoff, who's originally from England, made Team Europe as a captain's pick. Her rookie outing in Solheim play as well. It means so much, um, you know, representing the United States, wearing red, white, and blue, and hearing all those people cheer for you. It's, it's an experience that you will cherish for the rest of your life. It's going to be fun, it's going to be exciting, and it's uh, to play on a team like this. And, you know, it's the top level of golf, playing against the best women in the world. It's, uh, it's a pretty big deal. It is a pretty big deal and special to have three area players representing the Sun Coast on a major international stage. But complicating matters is the fact that Korda and Ewart Shadoff are best friends on tour. They room together pretty much all year round on the road and they can't help but goof off around each other. We're just dorks. We're just dorks. There's no other way to explain it. We quote movies, we listen to songs and you know, it's it's nice. It's nice to have somebody out on tour. It's quite lonely out there and to have somebody that you can lean on and kind of, you know, they're going through the same experience as you are. So I think that's definitely helped us with getting closer. But don't let that fool you. You don't get to the highest level of the game without some serious competitive fire. And when it comes to the Solheim, these women want to beat each other. She wants, she wants to beat me and I want to beat her. That's, that's the, the way it's going to go, so. Who wins? Did you play her in singles? Who wins? I win. <laughs> What's the score of the match? It's like nine and eight. Like I said, feelings aside, friendships aside, and then you, you, know, you shake or hug, you hug it out or high five it out or whatever you want to do at the end of the day and then you're friends again. Or might be a little tougher than anticipated to get serious. Could be pretty interesting if they play each other heads up in the singles matches on Sunday. <laughs>